the importance of the Battle of Okehazama is that all of a sudden you have the three men who are going to shape the destiny of Japan coming together. Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and Tokugawa Ieyasu. Welcome back to another episode on Biho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we will review a series I just couldn't stop watching on Netflix. And guess what? It's a history documentary series at that. Japan has always given me some sort of influence while I was growing up, especially in their art, design, anime, video gaming, and so much more. Learning about the Japanese culture wasn't really on a list, even when I visited Japan, although very beautiful, in 2006. I definitely know all you can learn from school and some history factoids to understand some basic beliefs to war, but never had anything explained as in depth as the most recent drama docu-series on Japan and how the samurai came to be. Age of Samurai Battle for Japan was produced by Blue Ant Media and was released on Netflix in 2021. This series incorporates six episodes ranging from 40 to 50 minutes and is meant to retell history the way it happened without any fictionalized moments so that the series is both educational and historically accurate. The series takes place in feudal Japan and is a period from 1185 to 1868. This period saw the rise of the samurai and shoguns. With the Japanese emperor's power not as substantial during this period, civil war broke out in the country and caused Japan to split into many different factions based on a family's power and land. Pretty much Japan was up for grabs and the series surrounds the more important figures that would eventually lead to a unified Japan after over a century of civil war and fighting. The series is a documentary at heart with the historians really retelling what happened in that time period, who were the main figures, and why and where and what their meaning to the era really meant. Added to the mix are acted segments of the events described. The added gore and detail really makes this history lesson one for adults. The series surrounds itself with key figures of Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and Ishida Mitsunari. As they follow them and their effect in Japan's civil war, the series mentions in detail the what and the why events went on one way or the other and are very descriptive, bringing focus to all figures involved. Legends like Dante Masumune, also known as the One-Eyed Dragon, and why Oda Nobunaga was renamed the Demon King is also explained quite well. Their depiction on the war and its strategy, character development, to even giving a solid story to each figure is done so well that the series will circle back giving the viewer an aha moment when everything starts to come together. This level of detail wouldn't do anything without the tremendous work of the reenactments of the history explained. Although not a movie at all, this is no ordinary documentary. There is a high level budget here and it shows with the acting, storytelling, action on screen to the immense all out battles the series employs. There are no opinions here on what they should have done, but just facts on what happened in this period that really gets the viewer, like myself, more interested in what happened and why. How deep the series goes in explaining each and almost every detail surprised myself in knowing that the samurai that I knew was definitely not the same in this period where one faction would betray another in an instant. Even how the ninja came to be was explained in such a fashion that it could be made into something separate and more all by itself. This series was one that I had to binge watch from beginning to end and really satisfied that I did. Overall, it is a retelling of history, but done in a way that truly entertains throughout, especially if you like action, swordplay, politics, character development, and of course, strategy. Age of Samurai Battle for Japan gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its fun, entertaining, and really engaging retelling of history in Japan's feudal period that brings focus to one of the most brutal periods in Japan's history. That's it for me on this episode on my look into the history on feudal Japan. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.